Greetings. Uh, the aim of this video is to show you how to set up a PayPal redirect so that you can sell your digital products. Uh, once the digital product is purchased through PayPal, I'm going to show you how to set up a redirect so that the individual is taken to a page on your website uh, and they're able to download the digital product. We're going to hide the, the page so that it's not accessible from your home page or from any page on the site. They can only access this page through the redirect that we're going to set up through PayPal. So the first thing that I need you to do is to log in at your back office on WordPress. So that's uh, your website domain.com backslash WP hyphen admin. You log in and the first thing that you're going to do is click on page in the lower left hand section. You're going to pull up a new page. Excuse me. You're going to pull up a new page. You're going to click add new. Uh, you see the circled uh, section on the left side of your site. You click that and you're brought to a new page. Ignore that. It says post at the top, but you're actually going to click page. You're going to add the title of the product. You're going to add in the content area, the large circle. You're going to add your content that you want to display. Where it says link to the product, we're going to change that momentarily, but it's going to actually link to download your new product. On uh, a small circle, you're going to want to upload your actual product. So you want to click on uh, the insert upload section and you want to add a new media feature and here we're going to select choose file you're going to just pillar through your system and find the actual PDF or Word document or however you're delivering your digital product could be audio could be video downloadable uh, but you're going to upload that section there you see here's what it looks like uh, then if you follow this orange circle oval here you're going to insert that directly into the post and this is what it's going to look like when it's completed. Now I just uploaded a sample uh, PDF that will be downloadable and then you want to publish over here on the right you see we have published circle. So then you want to publish that and make it live on your page and here's what it'll look like. Uh, it can be jazzed up with images, pictures, music, however you choose to feature it. Um, but the point of the, the text here is to thank your buyer for making a purchase to let them know that you appreciate their hard earned dollars uh, that they're giving it to you and then make the link available for them to download the product right there on the site and you click the page and it downloads right to their desktop and they're able to open and view the product as they see fit alright the next phase of this interaction is to click on over to PayPal you're gonna jump in and log into your PayPal account when you do that you're gonna land on your initial page or your PayPal overview page from there you see I have my information blocked out but from there you're gonna to want to click the merchant service section up at the top and then that's gonna bring you to this page which is gonna give you an opportunity to select the buy now button which is what you're gonna to need to do next create a buy now button from there we're gonna to to fill out a little bit of information uh, the main thing is to drop in the product name uh, and the price amount obviously you want to have your correct price in there you click that and you're gonna actually scroll down a little bit you can see here at the top you can still see the twenty five dollars uh, that we entered for the cost of the product you scroll down and you're gonna see step three you wanna uh, expand that step three section a bit and this is the image that you're gonna get uh, from this page you wanna scroll down a little bit from there and you're gonna see an opportunity to check mark the take customer to this URL when they finish checkout and then from there you're going to want to grab the URL of the uh, first page that you created uh, so here is unstoppablecoaching.com slash the title of the product because if you remember that's what I named the page that we created initially so you're gonna want to put that URL there because once the payment is collected uh, they buyer is going to be sent directly to this page and this page is where we created the link for them to be able to download their product and to get their thank you for purchasing so after that's done uh, and you actually click the uh, create button down at the bottom create button down at the bottom the goal button it's gonna take you to this page where you're gonna have an option uh, to grab the code to create your buy now button uh, in the website or you can toggle to email now you're gonna wanna toggle to the email section uh, because how WordPress works out is it doesn't honor the 
form script that is created by PayPal on the typical website uh, button. Now that if you have a basic HTML site that'll work, you can just grab that script and drop it right in to your HTML. However, like as I mentioned, WordPress doesn't honor that script that PayPal produces. So you have to kind of do this in a roundabout way. So you're going to want to uh, hold or bookmark this page and grab that, like I said, the toggle to the email section. So you're going to get that email code. Uh, you want to go back to your success store or wherever you're going to actually post the product for sale. So you're going to want to, in, in this case, we're going back to the success store. Uh, you want to open that page up. You want to scroll down, and we're going to create some information here. So here, we, you know, we're going to put the title of the product is twenty five dollars. You can see all that information there, and then we have to insert this buy now button. Now, the client that site that I'm working on, Terrence, uh, he already has this image in saved into his computer file or in his media file. So you just want to go in there, Terrence, scroll, find this buy now button, bring it up. And then you are going to link that button uh, to the actual link in the email, or excuse me, in the PayPal email link that we created just a, a slide or two ago. So you're going to highlight that button. Uh, you're going to click the little link button at top in the uh, WordPress options, and then slide that link in there. And then at that point, you're going to save and publish this page over there on the right. You're going to update the page. Uh, you can add any type of additional graphics and images that you want to it, but I just want to show you what it looks like. So this is the actual success store page. Uh, you can, you know, as I mentioned, you can center and move those things around, but you have the title of the product, the cost, uh, just like uh, the above options, you want to create a description, add an image, and all of that good stuff. But here's the meet. The buy now button is there. Once the viewer or the potential buyer comes to the site and they decide they want to make the purchase, they can click that buy now button, which they will be taken to the PayPal screen that you see now. Uh, my information is there because I don't have access to Terrence's uh, PayPal information. But um, you see the $25, the name of the product will be there, and the person can go ahead and make that purchase. Now, once that purchase is made, then the individuals will be redirected to this page, which is the actual page that we created first, where you will be able to download the product. Now, it's important to remember that this page will not be accessible from anywhere else on the website, only accessible from the PayPal redirect after the payment is made. But that's it. It's that simple uh, to create a redirect in PayPal so that once the product is purchased from your website, the buyer will be redirected to somewhere else on your website to be able to download the product. If you have any questions, you can always reach me at thinktaylor at gmail.com or you can visit me at thinktaylor.com and drop a comment or excuse me click the contact button and then in the form reach out to me and let me know what your problems and your issues are and I'll be happy to help you out uh, but with that thank you and good luck happy selling